All right, thank you for staying with us. So there's this notion that parents who have more female children enjoy the most at old age. What are your thoughts? Do you agree or do you disagree? Join the conversation and call us on 081-270-53687 or 091-390-76948. Or you can tweet at us using the hashtag, uh, at TVC Connect, using the hashtag YourView on TVC. Join the conversation, please. We'd like to hear your thoughts. But ladies, is it true that <laughs> parents at old age who have daughters enjoy the most uh, as against those who have sons. Uh, we know that in this part of the world, most men prefer to have male children and maybe have one or two daughters. Yeah. If, if, it's, and it's, it oftentimes, it's oftentimes it's the woman that insists on having a daughter. daughter. I, want, I, want I, want a daughter. I want a daughter. I want a daughter. I want to have a daughter. Okay. But is it true? that really daughters take care of their parents the most when their parents are old, at old age. Is it true? Is it well, true? well, um, I, just to answer your question, I wonder why girls are referred to as old age treasure. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. So I, I think um, that's in line with your question. But in practice, I would say in real terms, the answer sounds like a yes, because... Uh, most men believe their responsibility towards their parents, their aged parents, should be providing everything they need. Mm -hmm. So um, they tend to just send, mommy, what do you want? You want me to pay for your nanny? You want me to um, pay your hospital Isn't that bill? a way of taking care yeah. of the, their so, parents? So to them. But the person who stays by your side, most times, um, are the daughters. The companion you need, um, the person who wants to listen to you, the person who wants to make sure you are fine. Not fine in your body, but... Mommy is good. When, when a sister tells her, her brothers, mommy is fine, they know that mommy is really fine because she's always speaking with mommy. And I, I dare say daughter-in-laws as well. But uh, my personal opinion is it depends on the way you raise your children. Very sometimes good. sometimes um, women tend to be closer to the boys, but all of those things are just myths. Now I see that um, if you are in the press, if you're presently with your children, you're, you're right in front of them you will be in their memory. So some children just feel quite attached, not just monetarily. So yeah. it is not true in all homes. It depends on the values you set now. So um, if you're closer to your boys, and then there are some boys, maybe that's why women, some wives feel threatened, you know, because they feel like these boys are too close to their mothers. Very so, good. So, so you, you just <laughs> mentioned something yeah. that is yeah. also a concern yeah. to some persons mm -hmm. who get married to what they term yeah. mommy boys, yes. the boys that are men that are tied to their mother's apron strings. <laughs> and so the guy might want to feel, okay, I am not tied to my mother's apron string. I'm not tied. So he just wants to cut it off and just do hello, mm -hmm. hi, are you okay? Mm -hmm. I believe you are fine. You need this money. Yeah. I send it to you. Yeah. So how do we then begin to look at balancing that if you have that kind of situation? How does the guy, how does the son come to take care of the family, ensuring that, or assuring his wife that, you see, okay. it is just about, these are my parents. I mean, I have to care for them. Yes. I'm not yes. tied to their strings. Of yes. course, they are my parents. Yes. The umbilical cord was there. Yes. It had been cut off, but yes. then <laughs> yes. I am still their son. Yes. So it is yes. about allaying the fears of the wife mm -hmm. and also ensure you are taking care of your parents. How do we do that? I think that wisdom for a woman in that kind of situation is to make the husband's mother or the boyfriend's mother close to you or be close to them too. Because if you see that your boyfriend or spouse is close to his parents, it's just wisdom. Because you, you know, sometimes we hear this story of um, um, the girlfriend or the wife is saying, no, my mother, your mother is your mother. I am your, I'm your girlfriend, so you have to give me that attention, yeah. right? And then sometimes yeah. it, it spirals. I occupy the pride of place. Do you see? I am the first. Mm. No other person comes yeah. first. It's mm. just... So I, I think it has to do so much with values. Yeah. And um, it's not crafted in stone. So it's not in all cases that women tend to be closer. 
if you ask my dad, my dad will tell you, thank God I have daughters. In my next five lives, I want to have daughters. Mm. Because my son, all my son wants to know is that your allowance does not drop. <laughs> Let me just send what you need. If you ask my mother-in-law, she will probably say the same thing. Mm. She loves her boys a lot, but she feels she has quality time. With the wives and with her daughters, my mother-in-law is strange, like my mom. Mm. So what she does to her daughters, she does to her daughter-in-laws as well. She makes us feel like, please, when, so whenever I go home, she wants me to be on her bed. She wants us to go out together. She wants us to, sometimes she makes a clothes she has. Let's wear and cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, so I, I think it has to do with being deliberate. Yeah. And then, you know, men don't have the, the, would I say the arms to want to care and follow you everywhere like a woman would do. Because women just feel like you're a part of them. So it has to do with ideologies. For the first time in so many years, this year, Nigeria and maybe the other parts of the world celebrated the boys' day. I've been in education, mm -hmm. but this is the first year that the, the date is sticking in my brain because we always do Girls' Day, International Day of the Girl, girl Child, Child, Girl Education. In fact, they've been but sounding no, the alarm that yes. Sunday is Father's Day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's public, remember that. Public announcement. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so I, think, I think parents should yeah. just be deliberate. Try and make sure your children have compassion now. It's mm. a compassion issue. If they have compassion now, they would have compassion for you later. Mm. Compassion. But, but there's this okay. aspect that um, mm. some children feel that they are not to be saddled with that responsibility mm. of taking care of their parents at old age that um, their parents have lived their lives mm -hmm. and so they have to live theirs yes, exactly. and that they are not supposed to be the retirement um, plan. A plan of their <laughs> parents. There's yeah. also that notion yeah. and I would like for us to address that and so some just practically abandon their parents mm -hmm. saying yeah. that right now it's about me. I need to live my life. To. I need to build my life. I need to build my home. So yeah. that notion also yeah. comes into comes to play when we're yeah. talking about caring for your parents at old age. I yeah. think that that's like a selfish mindset yeah. because your, your parents have sacrificed for you um, while growing up. They sent you to school. They've, quote and unquote, made you who you are today. So I think that it is unfair now that you've made it to now think that your parents are a burden on you. Exactly. They're not a burden on you because if they didn't sacrifice for you in the first place, maybe God would have sent help. I agree, but they did. Right. And so for parents also, some parents think that I sent this child to school and then have the very good. Okay, so you, must, you must take so care you of must me. Take, yeah. so I want to disagree a little. Yeah. I know that it's just normal for you to do it now and expect that later that child wants to um, we give back reciprocate. Yes. But I wouldn't want any parent to assume um, it's a, a I don't right. want to use the word right. It should, your, parent, your children should take care of you. Mm -hmm. But I'd like a balance. So I, I want parents to understand that a good man leaves inheritance for his children's children, mm -hmm. okay? So as you're raising your children, also prepare for tomorrow and give the children time to settle. Mm -hmm. So many um, young adults have gone into debt trying to meet up with needs from their immediate families and their parents. Just imagine some of my, my very close friends who relocated to the UK in about six months and one year. I mean, it would be practically Families unfair. Families are making demands. Practically unfair to ask for anything from these guys because they it's, don't, it's they don't understand the situation they are going I through mean, there. It's so, when, when they, they believe up, that they I are picking like, monies, you've gone yes, out of the country, to, you, uh, life is good, <laughs> and so you must send so, us something because yeah. we contributed to your traveling out of the country. Okay, you know, it's the same thing. So somebody just got married, his wife is supposed to have a child, they need to do CS, they need to get a house, let them settle. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Or they give a child to say, okay, this yeah. is, we are giving you this child, yeah, take care so, of the child as so. you're getting married. This is I, me saying, yeah. go with this child, train her, she's your first child, so to speak, now that you're married. Maybe not as a right. So I, I like um, a situation where my children feel we have to do this. So um, my first son, Baba Taba, this is your responsibility. You're just 11, but this is what you have to do. So we commit to a task. And then when they're older, they understand that I'm used to being responsible. Parents should not yes. assume that children should be responsible once they get married. Mm. So now that you're married, don't focus on your family. You need to face me. I think we should start to teach these things early From enough so age. that it doesn't look like a burden. Because I know so many people who don't take their parents' calls. Mm -hmm. They feel like my parents don't understand what I'm going Seriously. through. Yes, and the parents feel, oh, this child is so ungrateful. There has to be a balance. Mm. There has to be a balance. We need to do proper orientation for parents that these children are not a retirement plan. And I do think 
Yeah. All right. We, we need to quickly go on a commercial yeah. break. Okay. When we return, we'll continue this conversation and would like for you to join us in this conversation. We want to hear what you think about this topic. Stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. So the conversation we we're having before we went on the break, we're talking about the notion that uh, some parents who have more female children enjoyed the most at old age. We're asking what your thoughts are and if you agree or disagree. So you can join the conversation. Call us on 081-270-53687 or 091-390-76948. Or you can tweet at us uh, using at TVC Connect, using the hashtag your view on TVC. And then there's also the notion that um, some parents see their children as retirement benefit or retirement plan. Yeah. And so because they have given their all, they sacrificed, they went through abuse, went through all forms of abuse, domestic violence and all, and they channeled their energy. Instead of looking at what was going on, they channeled their energy on their children and decided, you know what, this is my child, I just want you to become. Now you have become. When you get your salary, divide it into two, send me half immediately, don't waste time. Whatever it is, make sure you are focusing on me. Else, you face the music. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What are your views on this? We have some comments, do we? Yes, we do. We have some comments on YouTube. Brutal Akonde says, some boys are useful to their parents more than girls, but it's not common among boys. Mm. Right? He goes on to say, men traveling from one state to the other, parents and families are expecting from you. What did you bring for us? Of course. I don't care what Oduyemi says. Yes, yes, it's true female children take care of their parents at old age, unlike the male children. I can attest to that. I'm from a family of seven females and two males. The males are stingy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they might be going through life issues. It's not that. You know, some people are not deliberately stingy. It may just be that life is not balanced mm. the way they want it but then cannot give from the little they have. But whatever it is, what your parents are asking, what some parents are asking for is just give me a call. Check yes, up on me. Yes, yes. Let me hear yes, your voice. Yes, yes, they are yes, not necessarily yes, making yes. demands yes, of you. All they want yes. is let me yes, hear you. Old age can be very lonely. Yes. Yeah, it can be very they just lonely. want that companion at mm, the time. Mm, they know that, okay, they are counting down mm, mm, to their life winding up or living mm -hmm. life so to speak mm -hmm. and they just want to feel their children the more yeah. there are those parents yeah. we must ensure that we categorize them yeah. but then there are those who are saying mm -hmm. i gave my all blood sweat and tears mm -hmm. you must meet my demands or else i will disown you <laughs> it's not even disown some go as far yeah. as telling others placing a curse or telling others talk to that ungrateful child call yes. him call her yeah mm -hmm. so i want us to look into all of those aspects as we wait for our colors and for people to send in their comments. Okay. When parents are, how do children manage these parents? How can they go about managing a parent who is demanding, overbearing, mm. overbearing making demands mm -hmm. of them? How do they have conversations so, such so, that okay. their parents begin to see things from the eyes of their children? Okay, so I would say um, communication would help, but I would, at the risk of repeating myself, I'll insist again that these things don't start when the children become adults. It starts from now. So let the younger parents learn from parents who have grown up children. And let us see that we don't, we don't make the same mistakes they made. All right, okay, we so have a caller. If okay. you could just hang on. Okay. We have a caller, Colin Shola from Ikorodu Shola. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Now, let's have your comment. Uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Good sir. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning sir. Morning. Oh, that call oh. dropped. Shola, if yeah. you can, do call us again, again as we wait for some others to call in to join the conversation. Yes, you're yeah, So I was saying it has a lot to do with um, the foundation. Mm. So imagine that guy who, who okay, the ladies that are seven and have two boys. How did they raise the boys? So sometimes boys just feel um, somebody's going to make my food, somebody will pack my bag, somebody will get my clothes ready. So if boys are used to having everything done for them, how will they become adults and they won't feel like you're putting them under pressure mm. to come and take care of you? So I think we need to flip it over. Um, let's, let's see that chores are done by both boys and girls. Let the boys be active But for as our well. parents who 
who can no longer raise their children, their children are, yeah, are, are adults are now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the aspect okay. I'm looking at. Okay, so how you do you are handle... adults now. Okay. Uh, so uh, how does that child, you want to show compassion to your parent. You want to provide for them. You are not wicked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ones who are not wicked now. Yes, because there are those who are wicked, <laughs> who are stingy, like uh, the lady said. Mm -hmm. You want, you want yeah. your parents to understand mm -hmm. that life is not as you think it is because some parents are still living in the past. Okay. They feel that things are as yeah. easy yeah. as it, as, yeah. as it used, used to be, be then, mm -hmm. but it is not. They do not understand the realities. But do those children flaunt money around their parents? Not necessarily. Because I feel if, you're, if you're, you're, your parents know that you're, just, you're barely surviving, you're doing your best to keep ahead in life, they would not ask you to get them a car today. But you can't be kind of comfortable and you say, mommy, give me two years, this is an investment, this is... So I feel communication and compassion again. So somehow we need to, we need to show our aged ones compassion. Mm. Very important. Very important. And then we also need to communicate. So sometimes you need to go and see them and let them understand that this is it. Okay, so I can upgrade to this point, but um, just give me another two years, give me one year, and then understand yeah, it. The I, don't think, I don't think parents will be deliberately yeah. impatient. It's like you don't understand. <laughs> you have not seen because Very I've seen <laughs> <laughs> I've seen experiences of some persons okay. where there are demands on the child that they give everything. They are even telling the wife, "See, I raised this. I raised this man. You cannot yeah. just pack yourself to one corner. In fact, your husband is going to leave the house because we mm. want him to take care of us. I want him to take care of me." Mm. I gave my all to take mm. care of it. I've heard, though. Mm. And hey, so, so, you don't even know. Mm, Toby, yeah. let me even hear you first. Yes, I think that um, our parents are not in touch with today's reality. Yeah. Yes. Right? So, yeah. I would use my grandma as an instance. So, if my grandma, if we go to visit and she says, oh, 20 naira, I'm like, Grandma, 20, 20 naira cannot buy anything today, yeah. right? But so, if you give her something like maybe 2,000 or 5,000, she's looking she's like, so happy. Ah, that's well, a lot. Know, yes. yes. And that's like the story, mm. I mean, with most, mm. most older parents now. Mm. They're not in touch with what today's is, reality yeah. and that the purchasing power of the Naira has dropped. has dropped. So even if a child is earning so much in your eyes, yes. they may not do so, not do so, so much. much in the end. Mm. Mm. True. So, so True. Th there's the aspect of trying to find a balance. Yeah. Where... Yes, you made an error in raising your children. Mm. Yes, you feel that you have made all the sacrifice. Mm. You feel that you have a right mm. to whatever they that have. child has yes. right now. Yeah. So because you gave your all, you mm -hmm. sacrificed everything. Mm. But remember too, mm. that the child determined to become. Mm. Because you could have sacrificed everything and the child also refused to become. Beautiful. So, and then the child now has a life, mm. a family. Mm. We must be considerate. Mm. The, the, the aspect of being considerate is very important. important. Yeah. That, that we have a caller on the line. Real One is on the line. Real One, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead with your contribution. Yes. I want to make contribution to the present topic. That uh, him Okay, if you could just speak louder, louder, we can't really hear you, real one. Are you there? Yes. Unfortunately, real one will have to let you go because uh, the network is not clear, but do call again so that we can hear your thoughts. So I was talking about being considerate. Being considerate, yeah. It's very important. As a parent, yes, you give your all. Mm -hmm. cannot, that, that child cannot repay you for everything, for the sacrifices you made, no matter the amount, even if he gives you everything in his or her account, mm -hmm. they cannot pay back for everything. We must understand that. Mm -hmm. And so whatever the child is able to give, please just appreciate it. And celebrate it. 
celebrate it as much as possible. Yeah. Don't give yourself unnecessary pressure mm. and things begin to affect your health. You are wondering, okay, what is my child doing for his wife? Why is he not doing this for me? Why is my daughter not doing that for me? Mm. What's she doing for her family? It's her family. Mm. They are also your family, an extension mm. of you. Yeah. So why are we not looking at that? That mm. it is important to also allow them yeah. become, stabilize. Yes, you went through issues. Yeah. They acknowledge that. Mm. But whatever they do for you, they cannot repay. Mm -hmm. They Very can important. never repay you for the sacrifice you made. And it was in your, you decided to have them, mm -hmm. right? And so you had to make that sacrifice, yes, whether yes. you like it or not. Yes, yes. You chose to be responsible. You chose to be responsible. You chose to be responsible. Because there have also been irresponsible fathers. There has been, yes. of course. Yeah. We, we acknowledge so thank that. Thank you for being responsible. Thank you for being responsible. That being is why the child is giving the much they can. They can. Now to the children. Those who their parents made all the sacrifice but have refused to acknowledge that. There is a blessing that comes with mm. sacrificing, giving Preach back it. to your family. There is a blessing. Let me not. Let me not. You make a very good counsel. You, you, you took you time to face the parents. And when you are done, it's okay. No, let's talk to, to the children. children. Oh, God. <laughs> My head is really no. <laughs> so we must have that balance. No, there has to be that balance. So it's, it's both parties. It's both parties. This, this message is not for one. It's not for one. It's for everyone. <laughs> yes. Everyone. Yeah. The, the, the children who have refused to, who are feeling, okay, this responsibility, it's not for me right now. It is yours. Yeah. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah. Whatever. See, your parents do not want so much from you. Mm. All they want is that companionship. Mm. Mm. You call to say, how are you? Mm. Remember, you grow old too. Mm. You have children too. What do you intend or what are you expecting from your own children? Would you like them to play the same card you're playing with your parents at this time, if you are not taking care of them, is that what you want your children oh, you to do to you? Yeah. I'm sure you wouldn't want that. But trusting what Veronica said, which is yeah. why sometimes when you bring parents to the city, mm -hmm. right, and you try to upgrade them, they'll be like, well, I'm going back to the village. They don't really need so much Absolutely. from you. They just want the barest minimum, which she has said is All compassion. Right. We, we need to quickly go on a break. Yeah. When we return... We'll have a guest join us to stay with us.